Hello everyone. In the previous video, we were talking about the classification of waves depending on the medium they are traveling through. We said the scientists classified the uh, waves into two classification depending on this, if they need medium or not. If they don't need a medium, we call these waves electromagnetic waves. We gave examples, uh, the radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet rays, and x-rays. Um, gamma rays also but now we want to talk about the second classification depending on uh, if they need the media uh, the, if they have other part or the second category for waves they need a medium to travel through actually these uh, need they need a medium we call them what mechanical waves the mechanical waves they need a medium they require particles of the medium to vibrate in order for energy to be transferred without it without a medium they can't what they can't travel they have the ability some of with these waves they can travel through different medium for example for the sound it's a mechanical wave it has the ability to travel through air liquid and uh, solid okay so this uh, this one here sound is a mechanical wave which is an example example of or types of mechanical wave example of uh, these water waves are considered as particle they need a medium so they are mechanical waves earthquake uh, seismic uh, waves sound waves waves that travel down and draw uh, uh, a rub or spring these all of them they are called what the mechanical uh, waves so this is the classification for what we for mechanical uh, waves actually here if we if we want to focus more uh, some mechanical waves can travel through more than one medium for example we, I have mentioned before a sound uh, wave can move it through air through water or even through solid wall the waves travel at different speeds in the different media yeah for example the sound is fastest in the solid and then in the liquid and it's a uh, slowest if you compare it in gases okay um uh, mechanical waves can't travel without a medium uh, if you um, if you're talking about for example if you want to talk about the sound uh, and you have you, you have like a jar a jar bell uh, or bell jar actually uh, if you remove the air from the bell or jar you can't hear the sound of the bell because there is no a uh, medium the sound can't travel through uh, uh, in space it needs a medium to travel uh, through as here they have mentioned in your book if you look at this uh, page here I want to show you this one for this one here actually they give you like this figure the sound from uh, the toy cannot be he heard uh, because uh, there is no air to transmit the sound and if you have this uh, bell jar and you removed or vacuumed uh, this uh, removed all the air from this you won't be able to hear the sound because the sound is a mechanical wave it needs a medium to travel uh, through so here now we can differentiate between uh, electromagnetic waves and mechanical waves so depending on the medium they they need medium or not they the scientists classify them into electromagnetic and what and mechanical uh, waves actually also the scientists they um classify the waves depending on their motion of the particles the other classification now of uh, the uh, waves I'm sorry for this. The other classification here of uh, waves, the classification of waves according to how particles move through them, how these particles are uh, moving. Uh, okay, uh, the 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 two classification are transverse waves and longitudinal. Uh, waves. We want to study these uh, by looking at these examples to understand what are the uh, longitudinal and what are the uh, what are the transverse uh, waves and what's the difference between uh, them. I want you to look at this spring. For this spring here, if you uh, any if you uh, tie this spring, for example, with the, a door or something, make make it fixed on this side. And on this side, you start you start to uh, take it away to this part, or 
and or squeeze like for example this is the hand this is your hand is here let's say and you start to squeeze these springs particles and sometimes you take it away what happened actually the, this one here because here the movement as you see for this one here this one here is which type of waves this one is called longitudinal waves what is a longitudinal wave the particles move back and forth yeah, and you start to make the movement back and forth back and uh, forth in the same direction the wave travel okay or parallel to the wave here it's parallel to the wave or we can say here in the same direction that the waves travel or parallel to the wave this one here is called longitudinal wave and longitudinal wave because the movement of the particles or this uh, uh, this is spring uh, back and forth you can see like two areas areas where the spring they are apart from each other this one is called rarefaction okay and when the particles they are very close to co together it's called compression or comp uh, compression sorry okay so here for about what about the longitudinal wave the first type which is longitudinal wave again uh, if we want to talk about it in uh, more uh, detail or to repeat uh, for example or example of longitudinal wave the sound the sound waves we have mentioned they are mechanical waves also they are what longitudinal waves when sound waves pass through the air particles that make up air move back and forth in the same direction that the sound wave travel okay they are make compression and they are make a uh, refraction i want you to look at this one and listen carefully to make sure that you understand uh, this type of uh, waves In a longitudinal wave, the disturbance vibrates parallel to the direction that the wave is moving. Think about a large spring. Pushing the coils of the spring together and then letting the coils come apart produces a longitudinal wave. When the particles in the wave push together, this is called compression. When the particles move apart, it is called rarefaction. The rarefactions and compressions occur along the same line in which the wave moves. So this is the first one. Let's now talk about the second uh, classification depending on uh, the uh, direction of uh, the, uh, the movement of particles and the disturbance. Look at this one. Well, here comparing the direction of the disturbance, let's look at the second one which is called transverse waves. For transverse waves, to talk about them, the particles move uh, perpendicular to the motion of the wave. Again, the particles, they are moving perpendicular to the uh, motion of the waves. They are making like up and down, up and down. Look, not forth and uh, back and forth. Here, up and down, up and down. Okay, so this is what about the transfers. The transfers where particles move perpendicularly to the direction of the wave travel. So here, transfers wave and uh, actually uh, here for this one the wave the spring uh, for example if you have a spring you can make it up and down as you see for this one here i'm going to show you this one like uh, listen carefully the particles in a transverse wave move perpendicular to the direction that the wave is moving if you tie a string to a doorknob and move the end of the string up and down it is an example of a transverse wave. The string particles move up and down, but the wave moves forward. The top part of the wave is called the crest, and the bottom part is called the trough. Look how the movement here is different, like it's this spring is uh, uh, tied here with the door, as you see, 
and you start to move your hand up and down up and down here this is the transverse waves move perpendicular to the uh, direction of uh, the wave okay so this one here uh, is the transverse waves um, actually you have to put in your mind transverse waves and longitudinal waves often often travel uh, uh, at different speeds and medium for example in a spring a toy longitudinal waves are usually faster okay uh, i'll give you another example for example in the earthquake since both actually are earthquake since both longitudinal uh, waves and what uh, we, uh, we the, they call it p waves and transfer waves with uh, which is called s waves through the earth crust the earth crust which is the medium okay so this one here transfers waves he, uh, it's mechanical as you see here Hala, here for earthquake okay Hala, in this case for uh, for the earthquake okay in this case the longitudinal waves are also faster as you see the longitudinal is uh, faster Hala, during an earthquake uh, the faster uh, P waves, uh, P waves we have mentioned, the longitudinal waves uh, arrives first. A, a little while later, the S waves, they are the transverse waves, uh, uh, arrive, okay? Or they become usually uh, more uh, destructive, okay? Sometimes, sometimes, I want to show you this one. A transverse waves and longitudinal wave can combine, form another, okay? Uh, another kind of waves they will make a surface wave okay example uh, who repel on a pond and uh, are an example of a, a surface wave we will discuss this in more details next time but i want you now to differentiate between how the scientists classified uh, the waves depending if they need a medium or not into mechanical and electromagnetic waves and how the scientists classified waves uh, depending on their uh, disturbance on the direction uh, can class by comparing the direction of the disturbance uh, as, uh, and the motion of the uh, uh, such as the motion of medium with the direction of the wave travel into transverse and longitudinal waves and we have mentioned that the transverse waves and longitudinal waves can combine to form another kind of waves which is called what surface uh, wave okay uh, this is all for uh, today if you have any question you can send me your questions thank you for listening